guys, my name is Gina Gemskull and welcome to a walkthrough of the Love is in the Air quest in Sims Freeplay. This is a main quest and this is the first quest in the game where we have a time limit and there is a time limit of two days which is not very long at all. As it is a main quest, this quest will become available just automatically to you. You do have to be at level 7 and you have to have completed the previous quests in the main quest kind of story before this is available. As soon as it is available, you will get this pop-up that says, New Quest. Love is in the air. Complete this quest to unlock the ability for your sims to get married. It's the first step to your very own sim family. So the prizes with this, as it says, we're going to unlock the ability to get married just by completing this event. If we complete it within the two day time limit, we get a special prize. This is how quests now work from now on. But if there is a time limit, there's a limited time prize available to you. For it is a wedding bundle that contains outfits for brides and grooms. It's a nice prize. To me, it is worth getting. Although much later on in the game, we do get other wedding outfits but I think for definite I would think it's worth worth trying to complete this within the two days and it is not too hard. You can actually add time to the quest if you want but you need VIP 3 so it means spending real money on the game. It's not something I do but by all means it's something you might want to look into for yourself. If you haven't seen any of this series, this is a series where we are going through all the quests, doing all the walkthroughs and tutorials, but it's also a series about you and you are getting to name all the sims and tell me their relationships and things. So if you have got any ideas for current sims or new sims that you want adding into the game, comment down below. I'm reading all the comments and making lists of everyone who is saying, like people that they want in the game and things. And I will try and get to as many of you as possible. But let's get started on this quest. The first thing we need to do is to quick rinse in a shower. One of your sims needs a shower to get them in the mood for a fresh new romance. Have a sim enjoy a quick rinse in a shower. So we have our three sims at the moment that have been named by you. We have Chloe, she can have a quick rinse and damn does she need a quick rinse because look at that smelly cloud behind her. She is not smelling good at all over there. <laughs> Let's get Emma doing some stuff. There we go, we have completed that. Quick rinse in a shower. Get two sims in one house. Your sim smells great now. Time to invite that special sim over for a romantic evening. Get two sims in the same house. So this for me is gonna complete automatically because I have two sims over here. If I didn't have two sims over here, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Tony Tony is going to be our groom. We added him in last episode and we will whistle over. If you didn't already have two sims in one house, you just go into your sim tracker and whistle someone over and that would be complete. The next thing we have to do is have a sim be romantic with another sim. Sims should show their intentions for love early. Find a pair and have them be romantic with each other. You can always add a new sim to town for the perfect match. So yeah, absolutely, you can add another sim if you would like but we don't need to. We're just gonna barge right into his house. The first thing we're gonna do, and we're gonna go over and be romantic for one minute. They have been romantic with each other. Now we need to make an espresso. It looks like they're really getting along. They should get to know each other a bit better over a coffee. Have a sim make an espresso. So we haven't got a coffee machine over here. So I mean, maybe we'll just go and buy one. And let's buy this one star. For 750, although my simoleons are starting to run low. An espresso is 20 seconds on this one star. This is why I'm saying that you need to really focus on trying to get as many simoleons as you can at the beginning of the game and really work on the gardening and going sending your sims out to work because you will run short of simoleons pretty quick. As soon as you kind of start building houses and things, your simoleons just vanish so quickly. There we go, they've made the espresso. Now flirt. You can really see the chemistry between them. Make one sim flirt with another. Let's get him to come over and flirt for five minutes. You can see this bar along the top here where it says stranger, this pink bar. This is their relationship status and it will change as they go along. And because we're doing romantic actions, 
It is a pink bar. If we were doing friendly actions, it would be green. If we were doing nasty actions, it would be red. Let's start that for five minutes. They have finished their little flirting. Now we need to form a budding romance. There's some real sparks flying here. This could definitely turn into some sort of romance. Have two sims be romantic until they form a budding romance. So like I was talking about before, it says stranger at the top here. You just need to come in and click on your other sim and be romantic until that stranger relationship has changed into a budding romance. There we go, we get a pop-up now to say budding romance. Tony and Chloe are now in a budding romance. So we have done that. Now we have to have two sims watch a movie. You can just tell that these two lovebirds would love some cosy cuddle time on the couch with a movie. Have two sims watch a movie. So we can go over to the telly here and watch a movie is one hour and 54 minutes. We get one sim doing that and then to join in, just click on the telly with the other sim and join in for the same time. And oh my goodness, that completes straight away so we don't actually have to leave them to go and do that. So that's good. Now form a dating relationship. The night is nearing the end and it's pretty clear that your two sims would like to keep seeing each other. They should be dating. Keep being romantic until they form a dating relationship. So we can actually go ahead and just cancel these actions now. We don't need to do them for the quest. So we just want to keep doing romantic things. We can do kiss hand for three seconds if we wanted to. Let's. That's cute. We should have done it the other way around. He should have kissed her hand. Or you can do the be romantic for one minute and you'll see that the little bar along the top, the pink bar, just will gradually go up as you keep doing little actions. And eventually it will get all the way to the other side and the relationship status will change. They are now dating. We get XPs as well for when a change of relationship status happens. So... That's pretty cool, we've got 200 XP. Chloe and Tony are now dating. That probably took about three times to be in romantic and a couple of kissing hands. So probably about four minutes overall that took me to do. Make a sim kiss another sim on the cheek. Time to seal the night with a kiss. Make a sim kiss another on the cheek. So as the relationship status changes, you'll see that they get different interactions that they can have. So we didn't have kiss cheek before. But we can do that now that they are dating. Let's zoom in on this because it's cute. Where's he going? He's going around the other side to do it. Oh, I love where she actually kicks her leg out of the back. It's so adorable. Now we need to send a sim home. What a great night, but we don't want to overdo it. What if they get sick of each other? Send a sim home. So let's send Chloe home because we are already at Tony's house. Oh, he's very tired. He needs to get to bed. It's been a busy evening. Chloe's gone home. Now have a cat nap. Your sims are too excited about this new romance to sleep properly, so a quick nap will do. Have a sim take a cat nap on a bed. So we may as well go ahead and use Tony here, seeing as we're over at his house. He's got a two star bed, and a cat nap is 27 minutes. So we'll let him have a little sleep to recover from his date. Tony has finished his cat nap. Now we need to have two sims in the same house. They just can't stay apart any longer. Call two sims to the same house. So let's bring Chloe back over. And now we need to be romantic again. They've missed each other so much. Have two sims be romantic to each other. She can go over to his house and be romantic for one minute. Here we go, we have finished being romantic. Now become partners. It's time to make this official. Have two sims be romantic to each other until they are partners. So the same thing again that we did before. We just need to keep clicking on You can see they're dating at the moment. If we do romantic actions, that little pink bar will go along until it gets to the end and then it will change relationship status. So we just need to keep being romantic or keep kissing cheek, doing anything romantic until they become partners. Chloe and Tony are now partners. They have been being romantic with each other for maybe about five times it took to do that. And now they finally need to woohoo. Things have gotten serious and the time is finally here. Get two sims to woohoo. So now that they are partners, if we click on them, they can woohoo for five minutes. So let's go ahead and 
do the woohoo. Are they gonna go to bed? Sometimes they go to the bed. Yeah, they're gonna go to the bed and woohoo. It just depends. Sometimes they just stand there and do it, which is weird. I think maybe if there isn't a bed available, they will do that. But as there's a bed available, they have gone over there to do their woohoo. We'll leave them in peace, hey. Leave them in private for that. <laughs> They've finished woohooing. Now we need to buy two roses. Things are getting serious between these two sims. So serious, in fact, that there might be time to pop the question. Set the mood by placing two roses in the house. So let's go into the home store. And then I think if you go into the outdoor section, yeah, this is where you want to go in the outdoor section. Trees, plants and flowers. And there are two types of roses. These are these red table roses and there's also these roses. We need these roses here in the vase. So let's place them down. Now we need to get engaged. Oh my goodness, this is happening much quicker than I thought it would be for Chloe and Tony. Have two sims be romantic until one of them is ready to pop the question. We'll even give you the ring. The more expensive the ring, the greater the chance, the greater chance your Sims partner will accept. So don't be a cheapskate. So, oh, they've given us a eternity ring. Here's a free eternity ring to make your proposal that little bit easier. The eternity ring is the biggest, fanciest, and most expensive ring a Sim can get. Surely a Sim cannot say no to something like this. So I think this normally costs 10 LPs for the eternity ring. Let's go ahead and continue being romantic. So, oh, actually, we can do it now. We can propose marriage right now. Let's have a look. We haven't got many buildings. We've only, well, actually, we've only got the park. So let's go and propose over at the park. That will be much nicer than doing it just at home. Let's bring them over and maybe come over here by the dock. And who should do the proposing? I feel like we should, let's stick with kind of like quite traditional and we'll do Tony can propose to Chloe. So let's click on and propose marriage for six seconds and let's use the eternity ring. You can see there all of the other different rings that you can use. Sims will say yes to the vending machine dinosaur ring. It just may take a lot of goes <laughs> to get that happening for you. But I always tend to... But well, let's go and use our free ring, our huge rock. Oh, look, wow, look at that. That is huge. Who could say no to that? Oh, Chloe and Tony. Engaged. New relationship status. And now, call about engagement. Success. Share the big news. Call about engagement on a phone to tell every sim. So we need to head back home. Oh, she's already doing it there, look. She's on her phone texting away. She needs to call anyone, she can just text. Let's send them home. In fact, we want to send them to Tony's house, actually, I think. Has Tony, yes, Tony has got a phone. So Tony can call about engagement. That takes four hours on this two-star phone. Tony has finished calling everyone about the engagement. Now we need to make them move in together. Now that your sims are engaged, they should move in together. Tap on a sims fiancé and ask them to move in. And they should move into Tony's house, because Tony's house is the nicer house. Ask to move in is four seconds. Have three sims in a house. Wow, your sims moved fast. They just decided to get married. Right here in the house. Share the news with even more people. Have three sims in the same house. Okay, so we need to call over Emma. We also need to add another sim, actually, I think. Let's call Emma over. So we've got three sims in the house. You can see the time up at the top there is counting down. We've got 25 hours or 26 hours, more or less, left on this quest. So this quest is quite easy to complete within the time limit. Now we need to get married. Time to make the big commitment. Have two engaged sims get married. Note, to get married, you must first have two engaged sims be romantic to each other until the relationship bar is full. Okay, so, as I've been talking about these bars all the way through, what we need to do is, you can see that the engage bar there underneath Tony's name is empty. Let's do some romantic actions, and then that will fill up to the top, because you can see we haven't got the get married option at the moment. Keep doing the be romantic or woohoo until that bar is full with pink, and when it's full with pink, you'll get the option to get married. 
And now that Chloe has moved in with Tony, we have a spare house over here. So let's go ahead and add a, another sim. And the sim that I am going to add is, uh, a, of course, a subscriber suggested. It is female. We definitely need to get more male <laughs> suggestions coming in. But this sim is going to be from probably like my longest standing subscriber, <laughs> to be honest. She subscribes to this channel to the vlogging channel like she's always commenting on my instagram she's been here for a long long time lauren hiya how are you doing thank you so much for your continued support throughout all of the years of course you can get a sim polly is her nickname she wanted a sim called polly as opposed to lauren so polly cole i'm gonna call the sim i'm gonna make she wants blonde blonde hair blue eyes which is what we are gonna do. And then however, for the um, for the clothes and everything, she wasn't too bothered. I really do want some more hairstyles. <laughs> These are awful. Have we got someone using the bot? Oh, I don't know, none of them, like I just don't like any of them. Here is Polly's final look. I hope you like it, Lauren. I hope everyone likes it. Let's go ahead and add her into the game. Let me know, Lauren, plus anyone else, where is this sim gonna fit into the game? Is she gonna be somebody's best friend, somebody's enemy? Do we want a husband for her? Do we want a girlfriend for her? Kind of, how do we want her relationships to be with everybody else already in the game? Oh, we have leveled up to level nine. So we've unlocked another sim, lots of kitchen stuff, and some more furniture, some bathroom items windows, floors, and Chloe and Tony are now ready to get married. You can see I've made this little setup here for a little wedding. I've got the wedding arbor, which was about eight, seven, seven or eight LPs, which I can't really afford at the moment, but I really wanted to kind of just create this little wedding ceremony here. And we've got our guests. We have Polly and Emma here waiting for the ceremony to begin. So we can now, as you can see, the bar has moved all the way along. We can go, we can get married for six seconds. Oh, he's walking down the aisle rather than her. <laughs> Chloe has got changed into the, the best wedding outfit we have at the moment. Aww. And they're now married. Task complete, get married, and that is quest complete. Congratulations, your sims can now get married. Soon you're going to have a thriving town full of sim families. Since you've completed Love is in the Air quest in record time, the wedding bundle has been unlocked. You can find your new outfits in the Create a Sim menu. So we will go and check out those outfits in a second. The next quest that is available to us is the Two and a Half Sims quest, which we have a limit of two days to complete and we are getting babies in that quest. So make sure you stay tuned for that video coming soon. But let's go ahead and check out the wedding outfits. So the prizes for completing this quest in time, of course, was the wedding dresses and the suit. So let's go ahead and check them out. So we'll check out the wedding dresses first. And to do that, you just have to click on a wardrobe and browse clothes. And this takes you to your Sims wardrobe. So what we have won, if we go into hair, we have won these four beautiful bridal hair well i say four that it's the same hairstyle just in different colors but it's so pretty it's in black ginger white i was gonna say blonde and brown so pretty and then we also of course got the wedding dresses and it comes in a few different colors of off white colors we have a kind of a blue kind of color there a cream a kind of pinky colour and then a white, is that one? Yeah, that one is more of the pure white. And it is so beautiful. I love it. We should put her in it. Should we put her in our outfit? Let's put her in a wedding outfit. And then with Tony selected, let's click on the wardrobe. And we'll check out what the males got. So just go into the outfit section. They didn't get any hairstyles. But they did get these different suits, which, ooh, very smart. In fact, were they the same pipe pants that he already had on? I think they were. So we have this one here with the red tie. Then we have, like, the blue waistcoat with, the, like, the mustardy colour tie. Then the green look. Let's check it out from the back, actually. And then we have a kind of pinky purpley 
look. And then this, very suave with the white jacket there and the purple waistcoat and tie. All very nice. Which one should we put him in? I'm feeling that one, to be honest. Let's go with that. And here they are, our newly married couple, or first married couple, I should say, in this series. Chloe and Tony looking beautiful in their wedding outfits. That completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued suggestions down below in the comments for Sims to add to the town. I hope this video has helped you out with any questions you have about the Love is in the Air quest. If you do have any other questions, do leave them down below and either myself or another Simmer can maybe help you out with them. But thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I create loads of Sims content, Sims free play, Sims mobile, and I'm hoping actually to get back into Sims 4 soon. Well, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye. Yeah.